Hey folks, my channel's content focuses on how to accomplish tasks with data, specifically from the perspective of automation. But I wanted to share a broader overview of how to develop those skills for people who might be interested in transitioning to a new phase of their career. This video will talk about considerations for beginning the journey into data work. I'll tell you a little bit about my professional background, the mindset that I think is needed to have success, and the components I think you should consider and prioritize when thinking about what path might be best for you. I've been working as a data professional for about 10 years. I've spent the last seven years working in data analysis and visualization roles, and I've spent the last three or four years developing my programming skills, as well as focusing on system architecture and workflow development. I've never taken a computer science course, and I'm not particularly good at math. All of my technical skills were learned on the job or through independent study on the internet. My journey began when my supervisor took another job. I was given a Google Sheets workbook and told to start managing data entry and standard reporting. I didn't know how to use the filter icon, and when I entered numbers into a cell, I included commas, which broke every math function in the sheet. Fast forward a few years. And now I'm programming computer environments for my peers and deriving a tremendous amount of satisfaction from my work. I think I got to this place by approaching things from the vantage point of opportunity compared to obligation. In my opinion, an opportunity is something you get to do, while an obligation is something you have to do. My goal was to increase my opportunities and minimize my obligations. A crucial step in accomplishing that was using computer logic to manage my work. It didn't happen overnight. I organized my development into two high-level buckets, my philosophical approach and my technical approach. When I started learning these skills, I put a lot of value in the technical aspect of data work. However, I think developing your philosophical approach is just as, if not more important, than developing your technical skills. But given that you're probably watching this video because you want to code, I think it's important that I address the technical aspects first. I'll often speak with people who are aspiring to learn SQL or Python. In many instances, they view it as the next step in their growth. While I highly recommend learning new skills, it's important to keep in mind that identifying how to apply new skills is actually when you'll reach the next level. I originally went to college for music as a guitar player. There are countless people in the world that know how to play a chord on the guitar, but knowing how to play a chord is very different from learning how to play a song. I believe that's the same thing with learning a software or a programming language. You can learn about them generically, but having a use case is going to be a key component in your growth. With that in mind, I recommend approaching your technical development from the following framework. Spreadsheets, Python, specifically the Pandas library, and SQL. I think learning how to use a spreadsheet is one of the best ways to learn how to code. They're an accessible environment that makes input and output tangible in a way that other environments do not. You have a sheet with cells that lets you start working with data immediately. You can import it or you can enter it. The range of interaction makes it an ideal place to explore and experiment regardless of experience level. The key aspect of a spreadsheet is being able to learn logical syntax in a tabular format meaning you can work with computer language in rows and columns. That's what you'll be doing when you're writing Python or SQL. So having a point of entry with a low barrier helps with the learning curve that will come with the more quote unquote advanced computing experiences. Additionally, spreadsheet programs have internal logic systems that let you augment them. In the case of Google Sheets, there is AppScript, which is Google's version of the JavaScript programming language, while Microsoft's Excel has Visual Basic for Applications, also known as VBA. Having a programming language within the spreadsheet makes it that much more accessible because you don't have to worry about managing credentials or API keys. Learning to code is challenging enough, 
emphasizing accessibility early on will be important in staying committed to your growth. With that in mind, I think determining if you learn SQL or Python comes down to what pathway is most accessible to you at that moment. Learning SQL requires having access to a database with data that is relevant to you. So if you're currently employed and you have access to a SQL database, then it might be a path you want to explore. You could use free data within BigQuery or load in your own data, but I think it's a bit much unless you want to pursue a career in database management. I found Python to be one of the most impactful development tracks I've pursued to date. I think it augments every kind of data work from spreadsheets to SQL to application development and will increase your understanding of computer logic systems in a way that will empower your overall perspective. So if you're a beginner with no experience, then I think you should spend the majority of your time working on your spreadsheet skills. If you're experienced in a spreadsheet, then I think you should consider Python. I think knowing SQL is good and important, but I think understanding the concepts of a relational database might actually be more helpful than using SQL. People use spreadsheets as databases. It's not an ideal implementation because people will overuse spreadsheets as databases, which can cause significant problems over time. With that said, the luxury of a data engineering team and or product team is not one that might be available to you. Even if it is, they likely will not be able to prioritize your work because they have other projects they need to develop or maintain. Your team might be on their own, which means you'll need to manage your own database. If that's the case, then you'll wanna understand how best to protect yourself from critical errors, such as inconsistent or inaccurate data entry. That means researching relational databases might be the best thing for you at this point in your development. Now, when it comes to software, I think it depends on what's most accessible to you and your peers. If your company uses Google, then you should learn Sheets. If your company uses Microsoft, then you should learn Excel. If you're not employed, then you can pick whatever you want to. The most important software or system consideration, in my opinion, is making sure that people can access the software where the barrier entry is low, but system security is high. But generally speaking, my recommendation is that you don't develop an attachment to software. Things change and you want to be able to gracefully change with them. If you understand the underlying logic and reasoning, then you can pick up systems more easily. I think spreadsheets are the most accessible entry point to computer logic, which makes them a wonderful place to start. With all of that said, I think developing relationships with people is the most important aspect of any kind of work. That's why I really want to emphasize that a philosophical approach is just as, if not more important than developing your technical approach. While my professional development is a personal accomplishment, it came as the result of experiences I had working with other people. They had problems that needed to be solved, and I was fortunate that they were willing to involve me in their process. I think I also earned their trust which made them feel like they were fortunate to have me contribute to their process. The result was a fruitful partnership where theoretical aspirations were actualized through the implementation of technical solutions. I think your philosophical approach should be built on values that are authentic to you. I'll share my values with the hope that it either resonates with you or inspires you to develop your own. Curiosity which comes from good faith questioning. Collaboration, which is built on the exchange of ideas and observations. Communication, which is dynamic, flexible, and inclusive. Compromise, that is built on empathy and understanding. And most importantly, trust, which is earned through consistency and well-intended aspirations. Words only have meaning when actions substantiate them. It's important to me that anytime I seek out a line of work that I feel like I embody those values. You can only control what you bring to a partnership. You'll have good partners and bad. 
The best thing you can do, in my opinion at least, is come to the table as the type of person you would want to meet on the other side. Now I know this is a learn how to code video, and I just spent two minutes outlining a bunch of ideas that do not directly relate to coding. The reason for that is because the world is changing. ChatGPT and other artificial intelligence tools have demonstrated an indication of what work might look like in the future. While I don't know what the future holds, I am very confident in saying the world will continue to change and that work will change with it. That's why I think focusing on critical thinking is more beneficial than the specifics of a single software or system. Understanding why things need to be accomplished will supersede how they are accomplished. The reason work exists in the first place is because of people. Figuring out ways to work well with people is a great way to ensure that you have work. With that in mind, I wish you the best of luck on your data journey. My aspirations are to present pathways that I've pursued so that others have an opportunity to explore them. Everything I shared was with the best of intentions. Please check out the comments section to see if anyone disagrees with my opinions or presents things in a more articulate fashion than I did. I'm a student just like you and I learn new things every day. In the event that you want to explore the specifics of coding, I have videos on my channel that I hope can help you get started. Thanks for watching and best of luck.